All right guys, today we're back at the booth at Tony's Hot Rod Shop. I'm gonna be uh, making uh, color here. Uh, this is gonna be a tri-coat candy orange. Uh, orange Glow is the name of the color, but we're gonna kinda play with it a little bit. It's a vibrance, uh, vibrance color, custom color, but um, we've got the mid-coat, uh, the candy mixed up right here. Uh, the, the actual formula is gonna call for six DMD 650. Uh, it's a pretty coarse metallic, but uh, we're gonna do spray outs using the 650 and the 1696, uh, which is a little coarser metallic. It's a different type of metallic. Uh, so the 1696 is a uh, lenticular metallic, they call it. It's basically, uh, instead of uh, being like a star, it's like a star on top of a star. It's got much more peaks and points to the metallic than just a star-shaped flake, if that makes sense. Uh, but what we're gonna do basically is these colors we're gonna mix in with some DVC 500 and the formula is not gonna call for you to do this, but what I like to do when I'm doing a candy, especially if we're painting the whole car, we're not trying to match something, we can kinda modify our steps to make it easier if we ever have to fix it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these silvers, make my silver, and then I'm gonna add 10% candy into my base. And that's gonna give it, it's gonna be much more forgiving uh, as far as when I go to put the candy on. It's gonna, it's gonna be much more forgiving as far as striping or, or uh, modeling or unevenness in the candy. One main reason that I'm going to add this candy into my base and, and sort of tint my silver base orange to begin with is uh, uh, ease of repair. If this car ever gets smashed, comes back, I have to blend this color. I have an easier time starting my blend because it's already orange. I'm not trying to take silver and make it orange. I'm trying to take a orangish silver and, and try to make it orange candy, which is much easier to blend later. So when we're modifying colors like this, I'm basically going 10% by weight with my orange candy into my silver here. So I want this end cumulative number to be as close to 100 as possible, just so that it's easy to figure this out later. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna mix this. It's gonna come out to almost exactly 100. We're gonna, we're gonna call it close enough but we're gonna weigh this out, it's gonna be 100, and then I'm gonna add 10 grams of reduced candy. So now I've got my silver mix on the scale. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna add, this is weighed out to 100, I'm gonna add 10 grams. So in this cup, I've got my silver mix, which was up to 100 grams, and then I added 10 grams of unreduced candy. I know I said reduced before, I meant unreduced. So I added 10 grams of unreduced candy to that 100 gram mix, and then I reduced that one to one. And as you can see, I got kind of a copper color to start with. So uh, I got some panels in the booth we're gonna do a letdown panel on. Uh, we're gonna do two and three coats. We're not gonna go one through six or anything like that We're either gonna do two or three coats of candy So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna I'm gonna base my letdown panel and I'm gonna base this speed shape that I've got labeled with This is the 650 So now we're gonna use the same formula, but instead of the 650 we're just gonna replace it with 1696 which is the uh, lenticular flake uh, just gonna give us a different effect and we're gonna compare them and see which one we like better So these two speed shapes are done with our base colors. I'll say this is the silver candy mix the one on the left is a 1696 and the one on the right is a 650 and you can see just by changing that one Toner that that one flake. It's already two completely different colors even though we have the same amount of candy in it. It's uh, one looks oranger or pinker than the other and that's all because of how that flake is is hitting the light and how it's reflecting light so be interesting to see what these look like with some candy over this one thing i'll talk about a little bit with these candies is if you look at this i don't know if you guys can really see it but the candy looks a little bit blotchy after the first coat and that's all right because a lot of times when people mess up with the candy is they try to pour it on too heavy and they, that's when they get the stripes and the lines. We 
need to put your candy on with a finesse. You need to be 